Hi everyone, myself is Dr. Mohammad Abdullah Salim. I am a consultant pulmonologist and sleep medicine expert from Care Hospital, Malakpet Branch, Hyderabad. I have done my specialization in sleep medicine and pulmonary diseases such as asthma, COPD, IRD, lung cancer, pleural diseases, occupational lungs diseases, pneumonia caused by the viruses, bacteria and other fungal infections. Least but not the least, COVID as well and post-COVID complications has been treated over here. And the lastly, the more dangerous and highly infective disease from the ancient times is tuberculosis. Now, today I am going to discuss a little bit about the tuberculosis, how it causes, how, what are the symptoms, what are the treatment and how to prevent from tuberculosis. As you all know, the tuberculosis is the disease of chronic origin and it is a bacterial infection which is transmitted very badly through the air. The human individual gut infections through the air from one person to the another person via nasal route or oral route. It is an infectious disease. It is a highly infectious disease throughout the world with high mortality rates. Tuberculosis is a preventable, curatable and treatable disease if it is correctly diagnosed and treated very well. Tuberculosis is of variable type, pulmonary tuberculosis, extra pulmonary tuberculosis and miliary tuberculosis. These are organisms, these bacilli once enters into your body through the nasal route or oral route, they travel your windpipes or the airways and get settled down in the lungs. Under the suitable condition, they undergo multiplications and produces symptoms of tuberculosis. This can easily be treated by early detection. Presence of existing advanced medicine and diagnosis, it is still be a destructive disease to the human being. Pulmonary tuberculosis is caused by the transmission of infection through the air and or not all the individual got infected with the disease the individual who has a low immunity or immunocompromised and the presence of underlying medical conditions such as diabetes, HIV, patients on immunosuppressant therapy, cancer patients are more prone to develop tuberculosis. The immunocompromised individual, malnutrition individual and malnutrition status such as children and the pregnancy, these are all also a high risk for development of tuberculosis. The common, the common form of the tuberculosis is the pulmonary tuberculosis, other is the extra pulmonary miliary tuberculosis. The miliary tuberculosis is commonly seen in the children below 5 to 7 years of age. The presentation of this disease is similar to that of pulmonary tuberculosis, but the route of transmission and spread inside the body is different. In the extra pulmonary tuberculosis, the tuberculosis can infect the other part of the lungs, uh, other part of the body except lungs that is called extra pulmonary tuberculosis these bacilli can infect you any part of the body from head to toe pulmonary tuberculosis common symptoms are cough which is chronic more than a two weeks fever in, which is more at the evening time loss of appetite loss of weight night sweating and loss of chest pain or chest tightness due to cough and the loss of uh, doing routine work that these are the common symptoms of tuberculosis with a pulmonary origin. Extra pulmonary tuberculosis is a tuberculosis of other part of the body such as if the tuberculosis of bone then it is called pot spine or tuberculosis of bones. If it is a urogenital TB then it is called urogenital tuberculosis. If it is infected with the lymph nodes that is police system, policeman system of the body then it is called tuberculosis lymphadenitis or tuberculosis of lymph nodes. The treatment and the prevention is similar in all form of the tuberculosis. The diagnosis of tuberculosis is easily done by the various newer modalities such as radiological evaluation by the X-ray, ultrasound, CT scan, pathological examination, biochemistical analysis. Pulmonary tuberculosis is seen in 80% of the population and it is diagnosed by sportum examinations, chest X-ray and skin test that is Mantus test. Treatment of tuberculosis is easily, the treatment can be done by the chest physician and pulmonology. The doctor will prescribe you after the diagnosis of uh, tuberculosis, a combination of four or five antibiotic which is specific for tuberculosis and it uh, patient has to use for a couple of months and it should be a strict follow up and observation under the doctor's supervision. Without consultation of doctors, the medicine should not be stopped. 
this increase the risk of drug resistance the drug resistance means the individual who is taking the medications if they are not using the medication without information the doctor there are high chances of uh, development of resistant inside his body to the certain drugs third the complication of tuberculosis disease are various in various individual and it is different in different form of the disease doctor will diagnose and treat the these conditions as per your clinical conditions and requirement now the most important part of the tuberculosis is the prevention we believe in the prevention is better than treatment and this is the ancient disease continuously the transmission is since decades so this has to be stopped or break down the chains by preventive measures the preventive measure include the individual who is got infected with bacilli or the tuberculosis the individual should has to be isolated in the family for a couple of weeks during the cough or sneezing the infected person should cover their face with a mask or use their hands elbow area to cover his face increase their nutrition strat- status to prevent the spread of infection and increase their immune responsibility immune responses to the body thirdly increase the hydration of the body and the individual who is come in contact with the infected person has to be screened very well and those who have got infection has to be treated separately and those who has close come in close contact those, those individual has to take up preventive medications as advised by your doctor now it's the time to end the tuberculosis we can beat the tuberculosis and we will one day thank you